welcome to Hope is not a strategy, the podcast for real strategy makers. My name is Christian Underwood and today we have a very special podcast. This is a live recording, a live podcast from the WHU Strategy Summit recorded on May 17th in Düsseldorf. Um, that's why it's also in English and because we presented, Jürgen and myself presented our English book, Hope is Not a Strategy. It's a short one, but maybe an interesting one for you because it's called Made in Germany. Well, for today, we thought it's a good idea to talk about Made in Germany. Is Made in Germany still a brand that can stand up globally, internationally? When looking at the challenges that we're facing, not only climate change, but specifically what's going on in the US and in China in terms of tech. So how is that going to look like in the future for the uh, business location in Germany? I think that's a very important question. Also that we have seen sellouts of German companies a couple of years ago to Chinese companies. Quite recently, US is investing heavily again. You all heard about uh, the acquisition, the upcoming acquisition of Fisman, which is a very traditional family-owned uh, company here in Germany in the business of heat pumps right now, big sell. Yeah? So what does that all mean for us, for Germany and for the future? There only hope left? Or do we, we have a strategy as Germany? But, yeah, who has the strategy? The companies may have strategies, yeah? but does Germany have a strategy? That's the key point. Yeah. Now they are talking about intervening maybe in this uh, plant uh, acquisition of Fisman. So the government intervening in the marketplace. Is this the way to go? What kind of policies do we have? Do we have a strategy? I think when you when you talk about Fisman, which was already our first podcast that we yep. did with Jan Hofmann. He also studied here at WHU. And uh, he was talking about the family And their dream that all the family members and family for them means their employees. And I think from that point of view, looking from inside the company, it was a strategically right move because the German government decided uh, now heat pump is, is the thing to go. And they decided because most of them at the, at the top management, they, they, they all have been with BC, BCG. And uh, so they are real strategic equipped guys. And they said, okay, we have to be really fast become, be, because competition is getting like crazy in that. And if you're in the air conditioned business, you're a little bit more prepared than as a German company who has been in the gas heating business. Yeah, true enough. And competition is heating up. And from a company perspective, I would also say this is uh, the right move because You may have heard about it or read about it. The family, the Facebook family will be a minority, the largest minority shareholder. So they will have a say in the company. But anyway, if you want to compete in global markets, you have to have uh, the capital assets required for that. And if you can't raise it in your country or in your company size, you have to find partners. And why not have an international partner? Absolutely. But coming back to the idea of, you know, having a strategy as a government. Uh, can, can, can we think of that in Germany? So when I think on, yeah, so you talked about the US, so the tech stuff in the US came from, let's say, Pentagon, maybe, the, maybe well, a lot of starting points. And China, uh, how they develop technology has also really political reasons. And they have a clear master plan in entering different countries and setting up businesses there. So that's a clear strategy. And also France Absolutely. France is very much focused on industrial policy. So the French government wants to have a detailed say in what's going to happen in their industries. And almost every industry is defined as a important industry for France. And also to the US, I may add that uh, I used to work uh, for a while for the Small Business Administration in the US a long time ago. But I got insights into how the US government funds innovative small companies. And the, the insight there was that each and every ministry, let's call it ministry in the US, the defense department and so on, they had to set aside a certain percentage of their annual budget to finance private entrepreneurial enterprises and innovation. Yeah? And if I remember correctly, the defense department had the largest share of 15% of their annual budget had to go to innovative small players, not just in the defense area. And this is very different from the setup we've had Uh, in Germany. Right. We need hands. Yeah, abs abs absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But 
What would you recommend, Jürgen, for, let's say, not for the companies, but for, for the German government in setting up such a strategy? So I've never worked for the German government, but I worked for the Dutch government. Actually, by the way, I'm a Dutch civil servant, although I'm German, and I swore my oath on the Dutch queen. Um, what they did, there was a very uh, close relationship between the government sector, the academic sector, and the corporations. And it's very fluid. People move from one place to the other. For a while, you're in the ministry, working for the Ministry of Economic Affairs. Then you go to a company, become a senior advisor in a company. Then you move back to academia, whatever. So that worked out pretty well. And I haven't seen anything like that in Germany. But of course, there are big differences. The Netherlands is a small country, 60 million people. No? the size of North Rhine-Westphalia, more or less. And Germany is a very big country with a lot of legacy costs right, coming from the two world wars. So there it's difficult to maneuver politically. Everything is, at the end of the day, is political. Right? And who has the strategy? It's my personal opinion. I don't know. I don't see anyone yeah, having a strategy. What we see is uh, Mr. Habeck and uh, our foreign minister traveling the world and doing things I would expect the chancellor to do and setting up the strategy there. So we have coalition forces in Germany, so you never know who has what to say and when. Yeah, absolutely. So Pope is maybe the right strategy there, So, but maybe we get some of the guys uh, into our next podcast.